One of Nikola Tesla's greatest works was his wireless power concept. He wanted to place huge electric towers around the world and send power through the upper atmosphere without wires. Tesla built the first prototype in 1903, a 187-foot tall tower at Wardenclyffe on Long Island. But unfortunately, Tesla lost his funding midway through the project, and the tower was demolished in 1915 before it could be energized. After this major loss, Tesla retreated from research. Then the First World War came along and buried his ideas in the sands of time. Since then, engineers have produced many wireless power schemes for things like electric toothbrushes, car charging stations, electricity, and phone chargers. However, all of these schemes use magnetic coupling, which only works over small distances, usually much smaller than the receiving coil itself. Instead of magnetic fields, Tesla's idea used electric fields, which can travel much greater distances, since the electric field lines don't have to return to the source to form complete loops like magnetic field lines do. Despite this longer range, no one uses Tesla's scheme today, not even the electric car bearing his name. Over the last 100 years, people have come up with plenty of theories and conspiracies about Tesla's work, but no one's come up with actual working prototypes that produce usable power. Was it all just a myth? Then one day I had an accident in the lab that could only be explained by Tesla's wireless effect. This started me on a long series of wireless experiments, leading up to the latest one, which I call the world's first real Tesla Roadster. Tesla's patent from 1900 shows how the Roadster works. One Tesla coil produces an ambient electric field, and in this case, another small Tesla coil on the Roadster receives the energy and directly powers a drive motor. No batteries needed. The aerial on the Roadster collects energy from the ambient electric field and sends it down the mast to the Tesla coil powering the Roadster. You'll also notice the steel chain that drags behind. This chain returns the primary currents to the concrete, which acts as the earth conductor in Tesla's scheme. Fire when ready! All right, crank it up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could it couldn't quite hold the uh, the electric field. So Tesla's original concept does indeed work, and over distances far greater than magnetic coupling schemes can provide. But how well does it scale up? If you build a tower big enough to couple power to the ionosphere, could you project energy beyond the horizon? If we ever get funding to build the 12-story lightning platform, this will be one of the things we'll find out. Thanks for watching, and if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe.